Direct Golf TV, dedicated to improving your game. Welcome to Direct Golf TV. I'm going to test and review the new Callaway Razor Fit Fairway Wood. So this is the first time that Callaway have put their OptiFit technology into a fairy wood and they've really done it well. One of the great things they've done here is, is disguise it quite well. Sometimes when we have this kind of technology it makes it look quite big but on this golf club it looks very very clean. So the great thing with that, as we put this behind the ball it's got a fantastic classic look behind the ball. I really really like it. It's nice and low profile, it really gives you confidence that you can shape the ball and pretty much do anything you want with it. So because of that I'm going to give it a really good mark. I'm going to give it 23 out of 25 for looks. And the one thing that strikes me with this golf club, because it's quite a small head, the interaction with the ground is actually very, very good. Now, I've hit it out of quite a few lies, and I've hit it out of a, a semi-rough line. It really does still work through that ground nicely. Now, what Callaway have done as well, they've got the, really treated the face here, so it's quite a hot metal face. And on off-center hits, that's very good. So again, for quite a small club face, it's got good forgiveness to it, but it feels great. Now, the only one negative I've got to it is the shaft. It's quite a high torque shaft. Now, that's only a negative for my club at speed at my standards, so I feel like I lose a little bit of control on that because it's quite high torque. But your high to mid handicappers, that'd be okay because your club at speed's slower. So for the feel aspect, I'm gonna give it 21 out of 25. Now Callaway have put a couple of pieces of technology into this to help with the forgiveness of the golf club. We've got the variable face thickness technology. They've also heat treated the face to make it a little bit hotter. So on off center hits, we're still getting reasonably good ball speeds out of it. And the variable face thickness basically means that they're trying to create a forgiving face in simple terms. Now, because the club's quite small, for your mid to handicapper, it's not going to be that forgiving because of the size of the head. But for a good player, it's very forgiving. So on off-center hits for a good player, you're still going to get a reasonable, reasonable distance out of it and reasonable dispersion rate. Now, with all those things considered, I'm going to give it 20 out of 25 for forgiveness. Now the distance and dispersion, this is where this club really comes into its own because Callaway's ethos for this is the OptiFit hosel and that's basically where you can move the face around and, and get it set up for your golf swing so we can have open, closed or square. So the great thing with that is that you can adjust it for a draw or a fade or to help correct those. So the dispersion rate is actually very good because of that. One slight negative, which I said earlier, is the shaft for a good player. Make sure you get fitted for the right one because it is quite high torque, which can affect that dispersion. But if you get fitted for that and combine that with that, with that movable technology, you're really going to hit it nice and straight. One last little plus point as well, when you do move the head, what Callaway have done, which no other manufacturer do, is that the grip and the shaft stay aligned, they stay square. So as a good player, that's a great plus point. So for the distance and dispersion, I'm going to give it 22 out of 25. So Callaway's product line, it's really nice to see them bring them back up to the top of the market this year. They've really incorporated some technology that's been around for a while, but not in Callaway's range. So we've got the movable face technology here, which helps you to control your ball fly, which is fantastic. Now, this club in particular, it's, it's nice. It looks great. I gave it 23 out of 25. It's got a small head, so it's definitely targeted towards your low handicapper. In terms of the feel, I gave it 21 out of 25. The forgiveness is 20 out of 25 and then the distance and dispersion was 22 out of 25. So for a low to mid handicapper, this is a fantastic golf club. But as I mentioned earlier, just make sure you're definitely getting the right shaft for you so it performs exactly how you want it. Shopping with Direct Golf UK couldn't be easier. Simply visit www.direct-golf.co.uk Speak with one of our professional golf advisors on free phone 08000 139 139 or visit one of our great stores nationwide.